So <coughs> we'll go to the uh, the what outline. Okay, the outline of today's session. Okay, so this is what we are going to explore. Okay, this is this these are what we are going to explore. So merely how to create a Laravel project uh, and how to uh, work with your database because uh, Laravel is basically uh, the big why. Before that, uh, what is the big why of uh, doing Laravel? Uh, so previously, you you know about uh, PHP, don't you? Uh, have you learned about PHP? Have you guys learned about PHP? Yes. Uh, okay. So have you tried to connect your database with PHP? Yes. Did you do anything on the login, logout, or register user process? Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, you did search and pagination on uh, vanilla PHP? Did you do search and pagination in your vanilla PHP development? Vanilla means uh, uh, the sudo... Uh, I would like to confirm whether you are using uh, the OOP inside, these, in that inside the PHP or you just merely use the uh, pro uh, procedural way of doing PHP. Did you explore on the PHP OOP part of PHP? This is just a background check. Eh? This is just a back, merely a background check. They, they did uh, explore PHP, right? Okay. Okay, so that's, that's good. Because uh, you need some basic of PHP if you would like to explore uh, Laravel. So basically, uh, the these are what we are going to explore. I'm not going to teach you one by one how how is the code in this session. Uh, okay, I will not do that. I will just demonstrate uh, how uh, the way they do in Laravel compared to the uh, because you have pre experience in PHP. Okay, so this is might be easier for you to adapt. Uh, somehow or rather, uh, people know PHP because they are. They, it is a very uh, what we call as easy language. Okay, uh, they say PHP is, is easy, and the 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 previous developer who did uh, PHP, they only focus on the what the the procedural part, whereby you have the flow uh, from top until to the bottom. Uh, but uh, now we have P PHP 7, PHP 8. Uh, these two versions, uh, they try to uh, transition to, to what we call as OOP. OOP way of doing uh, PHP uh, development. So basically previously you have, you have done, uh, sometimes I use uh, the term vanilla PHP. Vanilla PHP is the procedural way of doing a uh, web de development in PHP or sometimes they use the term uh, naked PHP. Naked means uh, you do everything from scratch. Okay, everything you do from scratch. Uh, let's say you have a search function in your system. Okay, most likely the first part of your, fu uh, of your uh, search function is the interface, the form. Okay, the form. The form whereby the user will enter a keyword and after that when the user enter uh, the search button uh, the php or the php code uh, normally will connect to a database and do some uh, sql query and after that uh, fetch uh, record or fetch the result from the database and the last thing that we do is uh, display the result Okay, that's that is a typical way of doing a uh, search in uh, vanilla PHP or the conventional PHP. Uh, so the the challenge of uh, using uh, the 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 vanilla version of PHP is 
everybody can uh, create their own uh, programming pattern meaning that uh, everybody have the right to uh, everybody would like to use the, their prefer, pre preferred way let's say to uh, declare a variable uh, let's say uh, how they manage the function because vanilla php is open and you can do it from scratch what the challenge when you are in in team development or when you would like to pass to your uh, uh, uh the next programmer let's say you you work on on on, on a project and suddenly you quit from that company and there's another programmer that will take over okay because you have your own design pattern or programming pattern that you only you alone only can understand nobody uh, will uh, that makes the life of your next programmer uh, miserable because they need to uh, learn how your coding style how your programming pattern so because uh, in vanilla php you can do whatever you want you can create whatever pattern uh, design uh, programming pattern that you want your or you can even create your own framework in uh, in vanilla php okay for you uh you can easily manage the code you can easily understand the code but for somebody else okay it's it will be a pain pull okay pain in the ass because uh they, it, they don't know how you your program works you don't provide the documentation and it's going to be difficult for somebody else to take over your project so that's why that's why they come up with uh, some sort of framework okay some sort of framework framework is basically uh, a way uh, what we call as uh, a standard way of uh, doing uh, uh, the development so there's a lot of framework available in in the market currently so you have let's say kit php that is one of the earliest version of uh, php framework and after that they found out that kit php is quite difficult and uh, there's a lot of uh, things inside kit php and somebody created another php framework called code igniter okay called it code igniter that is also a framework and uh, so currently uh, one of the one of the most uh, valuable php uh, framework uh, developer they, they tend to use a uh, laravel they tend to use laravel yes uh, the laravel on version uh, while they are while they are in version 5 and 6 is quite simple because they are new normally a new framework uh, is slightly simple uh, but when comes to uh, laravel 8 or soon they will release on september laravel 9 there's a lot of uh, additional features inside that uh, that version so most likely you will see that uh, the Lar the laragon framework will will going to be uh, more complex lah. but i'm not uh, planning to uh, demonstrate to you a laragon uh, sorry laravel uh, 7 or laravel 8 oh sorry uh, i will show you laravel 7 okay uh, i'm not going to uh, show you laravel 8 or laravel 9 which currently in beta so what what's the 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 framework emphasize is on the code uh, uniformity okay what we call as the standard of code so you you learn a lot about uh, in in oop in java uh, most likely you will see some uh, convention for instance when you create a new class when you create a new class uh, the class name should be uh, the first letter of the of the, the first letter of that uh, class name should should be a capital letter okay are you familiar with oop in java are you familiar with oop in java no oh you have forgotten already 
So never mind. Uh, there's a there's a few rules that are available in OOP in Java whereby when you create a new class, uh, okay, when you create a class name, you should use capital letter on the first letter of your class name. That is what we call a convention. It's not compulsory, but it's good. It's a good practice when you do that. Okay. For instance, when you, you when you want to create a class name, oh sorry, an object name from a class name, it should be start uh, your your object name should start with a uh, lower case. Okay. That's some of the convention that they use in OOP Java. It's also being used in uh, Laravel. So why we need this, what we call as a convention? We need a consistency. We need consistency. So for instance, when you have, uh, when you are using Laravel for, to develop your, your web project, uh, there's a folder, a specific folder that is provided for you uh, to store your interface, HTML page. There's a specific folder for you to use uh, to store or to save uh, the controller. And there's also a special uh, folder for you uh, to store your images, to store your uh, additional library and also to store your database schema so that is where it comes that is that is why laravel is important because they provide that kind of consistency okay that kind of consistency and also one 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 uh, of the features in oop is re reusable okay reusable why is it why reusable is important because uh, there's a proverb in uh, in okay in there's a proverb in English why we, why reinvent the wheel okay why reinvent the wheel uh, meaning that uh, if there's something else that available in the market why don't you reuse it why you create from scratch because that's will uh, incur additional timeline okay that will cost you additional manpower that will cost you extra timeline so meaning that why for instance lah kan, uh, for every system that you need to develop there surely there surely uh, facilities to log in okay use to manage user login user registration uh, or user reset uh, password that is uh, typical okay that is typical for instance you also need to do uh, pagination so all these are available inside the library inside the api so reuse it okay you just need to reuse how to reuse you need you just need to know how to call a specific method or function in order to reuse that facilities which is already been taken care in laravel so everything is there uh, not like everything most of the thing most of basic things are there you just simply need to know which function to call so why is it important because in the uh, market or in, in in the industry they use a lot of uh, they 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 they're trying to migrate or they're trying to uh, redo okay they're they're trying to redo all, all all system or legacy system into some kind of framework so there's a lot of uh, framework available uh, in java they have spring in uh, microsoft they have what we call as uh, MVC, something like that. Okay, MVC framework. Okay, in uh, PHP they have Laravel, they have Code Igniter, they have Cake PHP. Uh, why? How do I know this? Uh, why? What? How I know that this? Uh, this is a 
this is uh, recommended in the industry because uh, we have done a lot of trainings for sort of uh, OUM. Uh, they, are, they are trying to migrate uh, their uh, old database from Oracle into MySQL and previously they used a lot of uh, Oracle form and they are trying to because that uh, the license for Oracle Oracle form is very expensive so they are trying to migrate they are trying they, they are uh, recruiting people okay to shift to Laravel so there's also a, a project that I have involved we have in SPR, uh, Suruh Hanjaya Pilihan Raya. Uh, and then we have uh, Penjara. Penjara, they also trying to migrate their old system, old PHP system into uh, the framework version, which is uh, they are resorting to uh, Laravel also. So, because b before you go to PHP, uh, oh, sorry, uh, framework development, uh, there's something that you know uh, this is important thing that you know you need to know which is the MVC design pattern or programming pattern so uh, in Laravel or in most of the framework uh, you you will see that uh, you will see that there are uh, some folders uh, for uh, routing purposes uh, for doing the controller for uh, for uh, what you call Uh, to manage the uh, view and also we have the model model is uh, basically a way of or a class a class to communicate to your database okay uh, why did why you, you can why don't you see sql here because uh hello yeah yeah Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, the short answer is uh, they need to develop uh, from start again. So if you like, if you uh, want to develop uh, a Laravel uh, web system, you need to decide before you develop because when you have already uh, code your PHP is not that simply we can uh, migrate into Laravel so most of the industry out there they they cannot uh, simply migrate to PHP they need to uh, recruit a team that specialize in Laravel and redo everything again from scratch in Laravel okay so that's what happened uh, in the industry currently because uh, the problem with the older version of php is uh yalla uh, because most likely when you have your vanilla php developed in php 5 let's say when you try to migrate into the uh the newer version of php let's say php 7 you cannot simply uh, change the PHP version in your server. You need to test every single function that is available in your code, which is in PHP 5. You need to read, most likely you need to redo. Okay, you need to redo the code. In fact, if you want to migrate to PHP 5 into PHP 7, you basically need, you need to redo uh, your code. Okay, you need you you must redo your code and you must test either the code the the old code can run in PHP seven or PHP eight. So no, uh, most of the industry decided to uh, in in uh, they decide to totally change into uh, framework. Okay, because. Uh, most likely the system which uh, which in uh, PHP 5 is uh, 10 maybe 10 years old back 
So in order for them to uh, to renew or to upgrade the PHP in two to seven, okay, to PHP seven, they need to redo the code and test it into uh, PHP seven. So why 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 uh, why bother to? Uh, in fact, we have. Uh, the new technology, well, uh, which is the framework. So the, the 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 pattern nowadays is they are moving to uh, framework. Okay, they are moving to, to framework. So if you have done your system in PHP in vanilla PHP, then you need to redo lah. Okay, unless you 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 just you just uh, you baru buat search je kan. The rest belum buat lagi then. It's okay lah for you to uh, migrate, but if you halfway, then my advice is you just concentrate on vanilla PHP. You don't have to uh, immediately uh, migrate to Laravel. So it's a different way of doing web development actually. So you have this uh, uh, what we call as framework. Fikri, Fikri, can you mute your? Okay, thank you very much. So this is what we need to uh, you need to know before you transit. Okay, you do trans transition into uh, Laravel. So there's a specific place for you to write the routing. Uh, there's specific place for you to write the controller. There's a specific uh, place whereby you need to uh, to do your view. View means the interface. And there's a specific folder for you to manage your model. So this model, uh, uh, Laravel, or any other framework, they emphasize on uh, universal uh, connectivity. Meaning that if you have your system developed uh, for Oracle, later if you wish to uh, change the database provider to MySQL or uh, Postgre, it should be easier for you to change the database model. So one way of uh, doing uh, Laravel development is by using this Laragon. Uh, but unfortunately, Lar Laragon is not available for Mac user. It's only available for Windows user. So I'm not... Uh, going to show you uh, from everything from scratch okay I'm not going to show you everything from scratch I would I would I would like to just demonstrate what is available uh, that I have configured uh, previously okay so by using the Laragon maybe you can install later uh, by using the Laragon, you can uh, prepare your uh, machine, okay, to to manage Laravel. Laragon is the developer stack. Laravel is your framework, okay. Laragon, Laravel, okay. Laragon is the uh, developer stack. Uh, it's like uh, Zam or Apache Friends. So previously, maybe you use Zam or Apache Friends. But uh, for Laravel, they have special uh, developer stack, which development stack, which is the Laragon. You can use actually you can use a uh, Zam or Apache Friends or WAM, but you need to install additional uh, software, which is uh, the Composer. Okay, but it's it's slightly it's very much easier. It's very much easier for you to use Laragon. Okay, to use Laragon. So, uh, when you are in Lar Laragon, uh, there's, uh, there's a menu here. Then you can quick create uh, and, and then you will have your uh, Laravel project. Okay, I will go through the slide first before I go to the... okay. So this is, these are what we call uh, as the uh, login scaffolding, okay, whereby you punch in a few a few lines of 
of uh, command and then you will have your uh, okay this is what we call as the login uh, or user management scaffolding we call it auth authorization authorization scaffolding whereby you can you can simply uh, call a few commands command lines and then you will have your login uh, and register user facilities so you will have this immediately lah when you create a a new project okay uh, mungkin maybe your 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 supervisor or project supervisor you will ask you uh, what what's your contribution okay what your contribution on this because uh, login and user management is very uh, very basic things that a system must have so what your contribution is on the module part so this is supposed to be uh, something that is uh, what we call as uh, just in time request lah. okay when you create a new Laravel project then you can simply have your uh, your login, logout, and user management facilities ready for you, lah. Okay, in the system, so you don't have to do this from scratch. Uh, the use uh, the the what you call the uh, the the database or the encryption part. Okay, because Laravel can do this for you on the fly, lah. Meaning that immediately you bu you boleh dapat login page ni. Okay on the fly boleh dapat why because this is what we call as basic which we should available uh, in system so whatever system you 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 do this is the 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 first thing that you 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 would like to have okay this is the it's like uh it's like uh when you uh when you buy uh a phone okay when you buy a phone right uh, the most important thing that you need to have in your phone is calling function or whatsapp okay for instance so the rest dah tak payah uh, we, we can add up but uh, the most uh, important thing the most basic basic needs that the system must have is login logout so they create the uh, Laravel create for you immediately uh, on the fly Okay, so when you have, uh, I, I'll, I'll go to the code. Okay, I'll, I'll go to the code. Uh, there's a lot of uh, things that I'll sh I show you in the in in the uh, video. That's why that's why uh, previously I requested for two days lah, but I got two hours only. But it doesn't matter because I only need one hour lah. <laughs> one hour one hour to demonstrate this and later okay after this uh, session i will provide you all the complete uh, video okay for for starting of how to create your first project in laravel so i'll provide this video for you for free lah for today only you need to request for today only. So the the giveaway for today is basically the complete course of uh, Laravel tutorial. So basically, all these uh, twenty plus uh, videos is normally uh, a, a training for two days. Okay, a training for two days. Two days punya training lah. So. Uh, as usual when you are developing a web dev a web uh, project what uh, you need is how to manage your module so when you have a database system most likely you will have a database right surely you will need a database okay you need a database okay the first part of your system is database so when you create a module you need a better database uh, first you need to data uh, you need a database or you need a table lah, okay you need a table so let's say you have a table uh, to store uh, trainers okay you have a list of trainers let's say you have a hundred trainers 
that you would like to store in your database. So the first thing that you need you need to do is create the module model. Okay, the model. So when you have created your model, uh, obviously you need a table to do that. And after that, you need what? You need a features uh, that can search your table, your database, that can uh, retrieve. Okay, uh, you can. You need to create your system. Need to create a new record. Your system need to uh, read or search from your existing tables. And your system also uh, could be able to update the records. And the last one is to delete your record. So that one is, we call it as crude features. That is very typical features that should be available in your web database system. The first is create record which is insert and then after that you need to read and normally search lah search uh, into your record and uh, second thirdly is you uh, crude c r u d u is update your record and d last is delete so these are four typical features that should be available inside your system web database system Surely enough, lah, kan? when you enter your uh, campus management system, obviously you can uh, uh, you can enroll for a course, and after that you can uh, uh, enroll for you can search, okay, for your friends, uh, for a subject, for a, and you can update your uh, what you call personal profile, okay, uh, and you can also delete uh, whatever things that you don't need anymore. So that's a typical uh, features that should or that that supposed to be ever supposed to be available in your system so how in laravel we do that okay so i will do some uh, coding demo uh, on the part whereby i will do some search okay so these are what available inside the Laravel. Uh, I will do simple demo on how to do search and okay, uh, search and pagination. Okay, I will do some simple demo uh, to for a proof of concept how to uh, how to uh, search from your record and also how to do the pagination uh, what is pagination pagination is basically uh, how you uh, manage to display your record um, so let's say let's say uh, pagination you use a lot of things in google right okay uh, you do some search uh, in in google right uh, when you search for something in Google, you will see that uh, the first page, the first result is normally is like 10, 10 result that's available in your first page. So what happened to the rest of the result? You need to go to the second page, third page, fourth page. That we, that's what we call pagination. Why? Because uh, you don't have the resources to display all uh, 3 million... <laughs> 3 million, uh, 3 million uh, search result in one page. Surely, surely in, uh, as you see in Google, the, they display for you 10 result, and then second page, 10 result, and then the third page, another, another 10 result. So that is what we call pagination. You, you can do search, and then you paginate your search result. So that's what we are going to do in this uh, demo. Okay, I will do that in this demo. Uh, okay, search and pagination. Okay, search and pagination. Okay, I have prepared for you. This is what we have. Sorry. So this is what we have. These are what we have, lah. Actually, 
These are what we have in a, a Laravel project. These are what we have in Laravel project. First is this uh, folder. Can you see this? This uh, I'm using, currently I'm using what we call as a visual, uh, uh, VS code, Visual Studio code, okay? Visual Studio code. This is a very good uh, code editor. Uh, it can do a flutter also. Uh, you can do also flutter by using this uh, VS code editor. Mm. So these are what we can see in a typical uh, Laravel project. That's why they call this framework. Okay. That's why they call this framework. They have, they have set everything <coughs> in specific folders. They have provided mostly everything in these folders, in this uh, Laravel project folders. For instance, when uh, you are doing what we call as the view, the view is the interface. The interface is basically HTML page. Lah. Okay, uh, interface is basically HTML page. You need to go to the resources, uh, views, sorry, views. Okay, resources, views. So let's say, let's say, if you like to create a features or a facility to do what we call as a search, okay, you have something like this lah. Okay, you have something like this. You have this, uh, where is it, where is it? You have the, this is the view, uh, this is the table. Basically, basically this is the table and this is the result. Okay, this split for you. Okay, I have this uh, code already available. Uh, I will show you uh, what's the result. Okay, so basically this is uh we this is uh some sort of interface that's uh been developed uh, using the Laravel. So this login, this uh register facilities, uh mostly has been created for you in Laravel. Lah. Okay, you you need to do some uh some sort of uh command and you will have this uh on the fly. On the fly means. You don't have to do the from scratch, lah. Okay, you do. You don't have to do from scratch. Uh, this uh, user database or table will be preferred for you. Uh, this interface will be available uh, for your consumption immediately after you run a few command line in Laravel project. So let's say. So let's say you 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 have this uh, okay a register first lah. Ado. Password. Ah, okay. I I didn't do I didn't do this notification. Eh? Uh, I'll zoom first. Allah. Okay. Let's say this uh, eight characters password checking. This is uh, already available when you create your uh, authentication facilities in Laravel. Uh, I I didn't do this. It's already there. Okay, it's already there. I'm not saying that Laravel is a development wizard. I'm not saying that a develop, uh, it's a uh, what we call as a development wizard. It's a basically a framework that provide you with uh, 
uh, all the basic necessity for you to develop a web uh, web, web web system it's not that uh, you uh, you have everything in in in, in here okay but the, the most common things that, uh, let's say, the login, register, user management, that part is been, they, they, they have prepared for you, all that. Uh, your, your contribution is on the something like this. Lah. You, you, you create a module or something like that. So, let's say you search for something like this. Okay. Uh, so this is what we have in Laravel for you search function okay uh, let's say I search for something like okay eh? okay so these are provided for you okay the pagination is provided for you you can simply uh, call the function pagination then you will have your pagination available uh, on the fly so this is not a wizard la, mean, meaning that all the basic necessities are there for you to leverage it's not like like you you are doing some sort of wizard without any programming or coding or whatsoever it is because uh, because they say that login user management yeah that is uh, the things that needed for every single system that you you would like to uh you would like to develop why focusing on something that is everybody doing you they provide you the uh the facilities for you to concentrate on the system rather than uh you need to have your own uh user management system or login system because most likely when you do that from scratch yeah when, when you do login uh, management system or user management system from scratch most likely you tend to do without the secure okay the secure uh, the security uh, consent of uh, of doing that login so this login basically they have okay this login uh, management or user management has been uh, there okay for you to leverage lah. so that you can focus to other things okay you can focus to developing your system rather than you focus on the login part okay that's the mantra lah that 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 laravel provide you I personally has uh, ha have done this uh, pagination using the uh, vanilla PHP and I hit uh, the process. Lah. So in Laravel, you just simply call the pagination function and there you get the uh, pagination on the fly. So simply like that. So I don't have to uh, worry about uh, how the system manage the pagination because I need to do something else that is uh, more important uh, for the system because all this pagination login register all are basic necessity okay all are basic necessity let's say macam you beli rumah lah kan you don't have to worry about uh, the electric electricity you don't have to worry about the water supply you don't have worry about the internet uh, provided in your house why why because all these are basic necessities login logout register pagination all these are basic necessities okay basic necessities why 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 you need to bother to develop this from scratch ada ke orang uh, uh, beli rumah lepas tu you need to uh, rewire everything ya yeah, ada lah orang renovate tapi uh, <laughs> electricity is normally provided for you that is basic basic necessity water is basic necessity you don't have you don't have to go to uh, what you call uh, a, a hassle to let's say uh, 
request uh, water supply from your PBT katakan okay, you don't you don't need to do that because why because the developer has providing you all these basic necessities air dah ada electric dah ada internet dah ada you just tinggal masuk and buat maybe buat minimal renovation okay minimal renovation that is what uh, Laravel providing you lah Okay, or with all this uh, login, logout, user management, or, or simply pagination, these are all basic necessities lah. In 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 a web system, why bother to develop from scratch? For me lah, for me lah, why bother to develop from scratch all these facilities? <coughs> so this is uh, from industry uh, part of view point of view eh. Okay, this is these are uh, from industry point of view. They don't have time to do the login, logout, uh, pagination, because why? Because they need to think something else. They need to uh, manage, uh, let's say, uh, what we call as uh, what are your uh, what uh, database design? What is your table design? So what is your uh, that's are uh, what we need to cater in 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 Laravel. So, so I, I have I have a wait uh, what happened? Okay, so I have this new table. So we have a uh, sometimes before I stop. So these are the tables that I need to do the search. Okay, uh, the table name is trainer. Okay, the table name is trainers. Okay, the table name is trainers. Uh, the videos, uh, the 20 plus videos that I will providing you uh, soon after this, maybe you don't need, uh, you don't need that uh, right now. Maybe currently you have uh, develop your own project you using the vanilla PHP. Maybe later will be useful when you are in uh, in your career as a uh, system developer or system engineer or uh, a programmer. So hopefully when you uh, do uh, what we call as uh, industrial uh, what latihan industry apa tu? Uh, practical okay practical training then maybe you would like to uh, explore more so that I just provide that uh, video, sets of video then later if you find that useful then you can come back lah to that list of videos so these are what I'm trying to do Can uh, I will demonstrate to you how to do uh, search and pagination from this table so from previously, I shown you this training scan. We have the Laravel, blah, blah, blah. But now I will show you how to develop. Okay, how to develop uh, for this table. We call this module. Eh? For each table, uh, we normally have the facilities. Uh, okay, you need to have, you need to develop the facilities to, let's say, search, uh, paginate, uh, create, update, delete. But for today, I simply want to show you how to do the search. Okay, how to do the search. So I will provide you simple, a very simple interface. Okay, so how to do... Wait, uh, Okay, so in Laravel, when you are trying to create a, an interface for your search function, normally, uh, because uh, previously I have the stable trainings, so I would like to work on 
my new table name trainer so i have uh, a set of uh, interface to manage trainers so i will create a, a folder in resources views trainers trainers okay, something like that trainers so inside these trainers, uh, we need to create a new file named index dot dot index dot uh, dot php. So when you have a new module, when you have a new module, uh, okay here, this is what I have done for trainings, for for table trainings. We have the create.blade.php. This is the form to uh, insert a new record. Edit is to update a new record. Index is basically to search and do some pagination. Lah. So for each module, if you are uh, going to do the search features, it's supposed to be inside the index.blade.php. So whatever new module uh, how many modules that you have okay for search facilities you need to put it inside the index.blade.php can you do some uh, other names instead yes you sure you can do but this is what we call as the convention lah. so whatever uh, search facilities that you want to do in Laravel uh, for a specific module you need to create a new file name index.blade.php index the name is index okay the name is index so i will do a simple alamak aduh Okay, uh, so this is a simple uh, form. Okay, this is a simple form. Basically, if you are trying to create a submit or search form, you need to have uh, what you call here as the uh, the what what we have here. Uh, this is trainer. Okay, this is the form and this is the action the method is get and you you have the text box to uh, accept the keyword this is the text box to accept the keyword okay Th yeah pardon huh uh, can you see the code, code right now? Index.update.php ah, Okay, okay Can you see now? E ah, okay Uh, don't worry if you don't you cannot follow this uh, demo because that's why I call it masterclass you uh, you just we I just walk through this uh, process I will show you how to walk through the process because we only have two hours normally uh, for basic Laravel training you need two days <laughs> you need two days so this is the form that you need to have Uh, a simple form okay let's see how uh, how i can show you the controller so in order to call the form i need to go to the controller which is the trainer controller where, where, where's your my controller okay uh, the controller the trainer controller so in order for me to uh, display the form in Laravel project, I need to mention these uh, views 
inside the trainer controller. Uh, why they split the controller between the controller and the view? Because inside this controller is whereby you control the access. Okay. So most likely when you create a vanilla PHP style of uh, doing login or logout, uh, most likely you, you, you check whether the user is uh, authorized to do uh, to visit that page by uh, doing the checking inside the let's say if you uh, like to block the user from uh, from uh, the public user from accessing the search.php so where you block that access inside the search.php okay inside that particular search.php page so inside your php uh, search.php you have everything from the form to search pro to the display to the database connection to the controller uh, verification so in mvc design pattern or in in, in mvc programming uh, pattern they split okay they need they will split into several compartments so that uh, your program, uh, okay, your file does not mess with everything, okay. Meaning that uh, they split the controller part on uh, on, on a different file, uh, the view, the HTML on this another file, uh, the database connectivity on another file inside the model uh, model class. So everything is split into MVC, which is a model a view and controller okay so these are to provide what we call as convention and uniformity so that seragam so siapa-siapa yang gunakan Laravel dia boleh baca documentation Laravel on how to manage the model how to do the view so everybody will uh, will uh, refer to the same style of coding okay to the same style of coding uh, that's why previously in vanilla php before we have the framework okay all these developers they pro they, they develop their own framework because they know that when you leave the company somebody else will take over okay somebody else will take over that kind of framework that they have developed can be easily uh, reuse by somebody else okay by the the next developer that's why in fact when when they don't have a uh, laravel or they don't have a php framework the developer managed to develop their own framework they prefer to develop their own framework okay previously lah. so that's why because uh, there's everybody everybody else okay doing their own framework that's why they come up with a uh, cake php they come up with coke in it uh, they come up with laravel why because this kind of branding uh, provide uh, the same uniformity meaning that if you use implement laravel in your uh, uh, in your system in your coding then everybody else who learn laravel will find the same design pattern or programming pattern in your system yeah okay, that's why that's why currently laravel or framework basically is uh, gaining popularity lah rather than the the what the, what we call the vanilla style of doing php i'm not saying vanilla is bad vanilla php is bad uh, Vanilla PHP is very important for you to learn the basic of web development or server-side scripting. Did, at, did, it is very, very important. But somehow or other, the industry find that Vanilla PHP uh, is not practical for uh, team development. It's not practical for team development. That's why uh, they, they resort for something uh, like something that is uh, familiar for everybody that something that is universal okay universal programming pattern for everybody because laravel is 
uh, open to everybody. Semua orang boleh pakai, semua orang boleh guna. Then it's, it's actually a, a free and open source uh, project. So everybody can uh, learn the code. Okay, everybody learn the same uh, coding structure. That's why it is a uh, gaining popularity. Okay, this uh, this what we call as a framework way of doing uh, of development. That's why it's gaining popularity, lah. So most likely, uh, there's a lot of people, uh, company asking me, can you provide me uh, talent uh, on on this uh, on this specific framework? Blah blah blah. Okay. Uh, the uh, sadly that most likely, most likely, fresh graduate they 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 are not equipped with this knowledge uh, because previously they used the vanilla PHP. But it's not the fault of the university. University because uh, PHP basic fundamental structure, uh, structure is very important for you to learn the beginner. For you to learn uh, as the basic, okay? Because actually, if you want to go to fr uh, framework, you need also know the PHP uh, procedure, uh, the vanilla PHP. I'm trying to say procedural, uh, procedural way of doing PHP. That is also important before you to, before you go to uh, framework. So, in order for you to display a view in Laravel, you need to call it from the from the uh, controller. That is, uh, that is why this uh, this. Uh, diagram uh, is important because before okay before you display your view okay before before you display your view you need to uh, convey convey the instruction from controller so that is why this mvc uh, diagram is important for you to understand in order for you to uh, display the view, okay, this need to be uh, invoked from the controller, okay. So the controller need to invoke the view. The controller need to invoke the view. So how to do that? Uh, I'll show you some basic. A simple way lah of doing that. Wait, uh, resources. Ya. Yeah. Ya yeah, saya 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 senyap kejap. <laughs> ah, okay. So this is uh, how you call your interface from the controller. This is one of example lah. There's a few other thing uh, there's a uh, there's a, a few other ways method that you can adopt. Uh, maybe later I will show you. Okay, this is how you this uh, is uh, the view referring to index.blade.php index.blade.php uh, where is it where, where is that index.blade.php uh, where is it? okay so in order for you to display index.blade.php you need to call that from the controller so i ask the controller to display index.php index.blade.php this is referring to the folder trainers in resource views and the file is index.blade.php. 
Okay. So we try to test that. Not found. Hmm. Training index not defined. Training. Uh, web, 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 web. Trainer index not defined. Trainer. Trainer controller, trainers index, trainers. Ah, sekarang ni saya tengah uh, manage coding ni sebab ada error sikit. Okay. Err... Uh, Jump yeah. Add PHP trainers. Drop resource. Trainer controller. Trainer controller. Route not defined trainer dot index that's safe yeah. Wait ah, uh, ada uh, error sikit ya. Eh? Route, 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 route. Route, route, route. Strangers.
I'm trying to debug something. Yeah. Uh, it's supposed to call trade return view trainers dot index trainers dot index is referring to this. Uh, supposed to refer to this views trainers index. Oh, okay, sorry. Because I mentioned this path uh, differently. Okay. Okay, this is a simple uh, button. Uh, generated from here. the pattern okay so in order to for you to display a view in Laravel we need to mention the uh, uh, instruction the invoke instruction inside the controller so they split this controller uh, from the view Okay, they split the controller in Laravel. They split the controller uh, from the view. So because normally, when you are trying to do, uh, when you you trying to display a search function, so everything is there: the form, the result, the mod, uh, the database connection. So everything is in one page. Okay, previously in vanilla way of doing p uh, web development, you do that. Everything is one in one page. Database connection, the form, the result, uh, the checking, the control. Ah. Huh? Any question? No. Okay. Ada soalan? Tidak. Ke, ke tengok movie sekarang <laughs> Frozen lah Oh network lah ni Aduh hai I'll change my Ni lah network Okay, so this is uh, what we have in uh, what we call uh, the index. Okay, so how to implement the interface? Uh, because previously, uh, previously we have uh, this something like this lah. So this 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 is our this is our uh, template. Uh, I'm using the Bootstrap template. So how to encapsulate uh, your interface in this uh, template? Uh, I'll try to change a bit on the coding part. Uh, wait, uh. Wait, ah, uh, tadi. Ah, okay. So we have this search for trainer punya interface encapsulated inside the Bootstrap template. So in 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 Laravel, they have a such a way that you can uh, include the Laravel uh, the Bootstrap template. Yeah.
Hmm, yeah lah. Sure lah tu because uh, of the network lah, I think. Wait ah. So now I implemented the template, the bootstrap template. Uh, by there's uh, there's a a method of doing a template management in in Laravel, whereby it's a lot uh, a lot easier for you to change. Uh, let's say you your your boss don't like uh, the the blue interface, then you can prepare a yellow or gr gr uh, or red interface. Or temp or red template, and later you can switch to uh to different template lah. So you can manage manage a template a bootstrap template easier in your in in your Laravel code. So that this is how we we manage to do the template management, and uh. Okay, so I'm trying to do search. Okay, I'm trying to do search. Whereby, uh, when you do search, obviously you need to have uh, a search button or a search form, and later you need to uh, you you need to do the what we call as the the display result lah. You need to ha you need to have a table to display result. Okay, so for example. Okay, for example, we have a table here. Okay, we have a table here. Okay, we have a simple table here. And then uh, I... Uh, column 1. Column 2. And, hand, and then we have... Uh, Closing of TR and we have closing of table. Okay, these are basically uh, what we call as the HTML interface. Lah. Okay, we have the title task. Okay, sorry. We have another one to suit this for... Uh, I couldn't help that lagging because, yeah, surely... Uh, that one is related to the internet uh, service provider. And now we have the table. Okay, we have the table. We have the search button and the table. Uh, search is to send the keyword. Uh, this table is to display your result. Lah. Okay, this is... Pardon? Yeah. Okay, I'll stop uh, sharing the screen and I'll try to uh, present again. <coughs> okay, nampak dah? Nampak tak? Ah, okay. Okay, sorry for the inconvenience. Uh, okay. So next, uh, we have now we have uh, the form and the table of the result. Maybe I would like to change this into name and uh, web link. Maybe pass. So now we have uh, a table to facilitate ID, uh, the trainer's name, and the web link. Because this is the structure of our table. Okay, so this is the structure of our table. Okay, so we have the trainer's name, uh, the expertise, and the web or the URL for the trainer. So something like this. Okay. So this is merely the interface only. 
you cannot see now uh, still you cannot see the what we call the the content of the uh, table how to link okay how to link your your content or your table into this interface so let's say uh, if somebody search for Ali then you will uh, you will see the result of that trainer named Ali here down 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 here uh, first thing that you need to do is uh, the controller because the controller currently is only uh, referring or displaying the index.blade.php you don't see the data where how to fetch the data so back to this uh, diagram again you can see that if you wish to uh, display or fetch the data you need to call the model okay you need to call the model so that this model will connect to your database your physical database and provide the data and this data will be sent to the controller and the controller uh, while invoking the view while displaying the view will send the data to this view so how to do that Okay, how to do that? Uh, I'll try to... Okay. I'll try to search all first. Okay, I'll try to, to search all first. Which... Where is it? Where is it? Okay. Ilang ka? Screen to ilang lagi ka? Dia blur. Blur tu maksudnya connectivity tu tak strong lah. Saya tak boleh nak buat apa-apa yang tu. <laughs> Sebab tu rely on the network. Kalau network saya tak strong then that will happen lah. Okay never mind. Uh, I'll try... Where is it? Where is it? Okay. Normally in SQL, you do this lah as uh, you, you, you normally use the select star. Okay. In SQL, you normally use the select star. Okay. You select star. Select star in Laravel, you can do something like this. Okay, so this is how you do select star from, it's very similar to select star from trainers. Okay, select star. But uh, to save your resources, uh, I will try to use the paginate. Lah. Paginate. So that one page will uh, appear only five results. Okay, one page uh, will appear only five results. And then you can display the next uh, result uh, by click by clicking the second page or third page, or something like that. So this is how you uh, uh, provide the data from the table trainers. Okay, from the table trainers. And then I will have to mention the data here. So the controller will uh, ask to display trainers index.blade.php and providing this data from table trainers. This is how they tr they provide the data from table trainers. Okay. So the the SQL command is uh, select star from trainers with uh, five as pagination. Okay and. Uh, this return view will 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 this command will display the index.blade.php by provide, providing the uh, the the data the records okay captured from these trainers but i need to make sure that because this uh, controller controller requires uh, to call another class from the model trainer so I need to mention this 
in the import use app trainer this is coming from uh, the model trainer in app where is it where is it trainer app trainer here app trainer this is the model of database connection so normally when you want to do a connection to a table you need to mention inside the model what is the specific table name and the specific uh, column uh, or field name I need to refer our database. Okay, trainer name, trainer expert, and trainer web. Mm -hmm. Then in the uh, interface we need to accommodate uh, that uh, data how can we accommodate that data uh, we we can use the for each function okay to display all this data provided uh, in the trainers variable so here we can use the blade script to display the table So here we have the sorry the ID we have the ID the trainer name and also the web links trainer web and this is the part whereby we will have the uh, update uh, button let's say lah later we'll create a, a, a button for that okay and we try to test <coughs> train us offset okay and maybe i forgot to provide the pagination so here we can mention the pagination trainer trainers link Offset with a trainer ID. We have the ID, trainer name, trainer web. Okay. ID, trainer name, trainer web. Uh, for each trainers as trainer. Oh, sorry. Uh, this is supposed to be N for each. N for each, yeah. This is supposed to be N for each. Okay. Now we see that uh, this result is based on the table. 
and you have the pagination instead here okay you have already have the pagination if uh, previously you have done manually the pagination uh, manually you will find that is slightly difficult lah okay to do pagination in in php vanilla php okay so this is how we manage to do uh, pagination okay we manage to do pagination in laravel maybe i would like to have uh, some kind of uh, link uh, a Yeah. Stop lagi. The le the frozen ah. Hmm. So now we have the pagination okay built for your system in Laravel. So maybe I will change something on the button update whereby I just provide the bootstrap class. Sorry. Okay, so something like this, we have some uh, interface, uh, something like this. <coughs> Boleh nampak dia punya interface dia? Or maybe you would like to change into... Wait, uh... Okay, so it's better this way. So we have the search and we have this button. It's not function uh, yet, no problem. Mm, I don't, uh, I don't intention, I, I don't intend to show these uh, features in this session. Uh, the last one is to do this search lah. Okay, I will do this search facilities, but because currently we don't. Uh, the the function the the search function doesn't really work actually. Okay, let's see a search for Kamal. Okay, it will display everything else. Okay, never mind. Uh, I will check this first. Hmm. Okay, it's, it's a bit a bit long but don't worry it's not that hard so this is the index and we have the request null not null ok if null yeah frozen again how to do it eh?
Each time I cover the uh, Google Meet punya screen, it's it's frozen. Why? Ah? Can you see now? Okay. view if now then it's supposed to page it oh, sorry no search else Ilang lagi ke? Ada boleh? <laughs> Aduh Okay, so now it's supposed to search for something lah. Syntax error. Okay, page. Expecting, blah, blah, blah. If else request page net written view why what line 15 15 oh okay uh, sini tu lebih Hilang lagi The column was not found Okay Oh, okay, okay, okay I'm doing that Trainer name Because it's referring to a different Uh uh, column name which is not available in the table trainer okay so now we have okay so we have the pagination facilities and we have also the search facilities okay so basically that is uh, this uh, what I would like to show you Okay, in this uh, only two hours can. So that's uh, what I can show you uh, using this Laravel uh, facilities. So I know that uh, two hours is uh, two hours I cannot uh, demo everything. Uh, most likely you need to know uh, in if you are doing a web development, you need to know how to update uh, record how to insert record via via the uh, the views okay you need to delete record that's uh, for uh, 
typical or crucial item that you need to do lah and then the search the display so i can manage to only display a uh, demo you one okay the rest uh the create update uh delete is available in the in the in the video sets that i will be giving you so since we have finished the uh the pagination okay we did the search uh, i demo you the uh, pagination uh i we don't have the much time to uh talk about the routing uh the controller uh the route list or whatever it is so for that i would like to share you all the videos that you need okay to learn the basic of uh basic of laravel where is it ah okay so the page that uh we did previously is available to uh, authorized user and also to public okay so in order for you to lock uh, the page from the public access you can simply uh, add this into your controller so you need to add this into your controller so that your whatever uh, facilities let's say update uh, delete it will be locked only for the authorized user lah. okay for the authorized user so you you can do this by simply uh, adding this function or what we call as constructor into your controller okay into your controller uh, for instance i log out uh, let's say i log out from the system i try to log out from the system okay so i lock or i uh, lock out already uh, now i'll try to make uh, to uh, to show the previous trainers trainers okay see you can still uh, the user everybody can still uh, manage to go to this uh, page okay i uh, i lock out already okay i lock out already okay then without having to log in i can go to this uh maybe this is a, a page uh, meant for admin but somehow or other uh it can be assessed by the public okay assessed by the public so how can we manage this page so that this page can only be assessed by authorized user so we can simply add uh, another line where is it where is it okay you just add this uh constructor to the to our controller so the whole uh, the whole facilities uh to manage the trainer trainer record will be locked so previously i locked out from the system and i can enter this but now when we implement this uh, lock uh, only for authorized user you basically cannot ah okay you cannot access that particular page okay so you have the ability in laravel to lock uh, specific pages okay if you don't provide this line meaning that this controller or this view okay is meant for the public so it's meant for the public so in order for you to log only for authorized user you need to provide this line inside the controller and to make sure this page is locked there you can only see that particular page only when a user log in when you log in lah to the to the system okay so now you can see this 
Why? Because this page is locked inside the only for the on authorized user. So the line is something like this. Okay, this is the line whereby you lock. This is actually a constructor in 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 PHP. Okay, you need to have this to lock your page from the public user. So if the page is meant for the public user, you don't do this in your controller lah. When you want to lock, so make sure inside the construct, you lock. Or maybe you, you can uh, write this into your specific function. Lah. Okay, into your specific function. If you do this for all, all the class, all the function inside this trainer controller will be locked. But, but if you release this and put into a specific function, then only this specific function will be locked. Okay, so that is a really simple simple way on how to manage your ni lah, your page uh, accessibility. Okay, how to manage your page accessibility. So uh, as I promise, uh, this is a guideline for you to request. Okay, to that specific. Okay, to that specific uh, uh, materials, uh, collection of 23 videos, uh, which is in the market uh, price at RM79. So what you need to do is to request these uh, videos is uh, simply, uh, okay, simply send this uh, coupon to this WhatsApp number. So later I will invite you to uh, collect the the nila, the giveaway. You can do this now. My giveaway is uh, twenty three videos, which uh, regularly priced at RM seventy nine. I sell this RM seventy nine. But for you guys, I'll provide for free. Okay, but only for today. If you request today, then I will provide you the access to that 23 videos. Uh, not tomorrow, today. And the coupon code should be requesting UTHM Laravel. Then later I will add you to view the... the, the, the the videos lah. Inside this, uh, inside this collection of videos, you can see. Uh, I'm trying to develop the new, uh, the new videos, uh, tu video tutorials for Laravel set, Laravel, Laravel eight. That is the latest iteration of Laravel, which is Laravel eight. But uh, the Laravel eight tutorial has not finished yet. What I have currently is Laravel 7 punya video tutorials. So I'm trying I'm trying uh, very hard to develop the uh, Laravel 8 punya uh, video instructions. You can uh, maybe uh, be patient and wait until the end of uh, next month lah so that I will complete the Laravel 8 video tutorials. But currently, you can use the Laravel 7. But the request is only for today, not tomorrow. Lah. So you send me the request WhatsApp now and later I will add you to the facility. Okay. If you have any question, you can uh, ask inside, okay, uh, into this number. Uh, maybe later I will add you into group or something like that. You make sure to request today lah, by today.
So, uh, any question? Any any question from the uh, from the moderator or from the audience? <coughs> we don't. I don't have. I don't think we have the time to answer question. Maybe one question, lah. Uh, I'm sorry uh, for the technical glitch. I'm not sure what happened. Maybe my line is bad. That's why I'm providing you with the videos. So that uh, later you can uh, view that uh, recorded tutorials. If you need that, that but I, I believe you you won't do it for your FYP or for your final project. Uh, are you currently developing your FYP or final project? Ah, okay, so this is your last semester. Hmm. Okay. All the best, lah. Good luck for that. Yeah. Mm -mm. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Uh, you have my numbers already, kan? Okay. So make sure don't 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 lose my number, <laughs> especially uh, during the intensive internship, whereby you need to recall what is Laravel. Okay. Feel free to uh, watch my nila my uh, recorded uh, tutorials. Currently, I'm trying very hard to finish uh, the tutorial for uh, Laravel eight. Uh, but uh, I personally prefer Laravel 7, Laravel 6 because uh, the previous versions are slight, uh, more likely simpler rather than the Laravel 8 because they have a lot of, uh, there's too much uh, yes, additional plugins that you need to learn in, in, in Laravel 8. Uh, it's quite hassle lah for you to start with Laravel 8. Uh, maybe you, you you can start if you would like to know the concept. Uh, feel free to start with Laravel Seven. So my videos on Laravel Seven already finished and ready for your consumption. And I hope that is uh, it is uh, very useful for your uh, future endeavor. Lah. 
So um, I would like to say uh, good luck, all the best for your final project and your for your internship, because that's uh, the internship is uh, your ultimatum lah for your uh, degree. Uh, you're currently doing degree diploma degree, right? Okay, all the best and good luck for everybody. Cheryl Nizam. Hmm, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Alhamdulillah. Oh, satu batch dulu. Okay, send my regard to uh, Dr. Aswa. He was my, uh, previously my my students in during Diploma Science Computer and Quiz. Uh, Okay, thank you very much. Assalamualaikum. Selamat petang.